Amor, amor, amor. This word so sweet that I repeat means I'm trying to make myself more appealing so I can find a decent man. So I got a job as a lounge singer. I figure what classier than that. Only now I have to learn all of these old songs and make them sound sexy. But half of them don't make any sense. Why would the moon hit you in the eye? And what does that have to do with falling in love? I mean, love, amour, isn't something you can define. Although, I did always wonder where does that word amour come from? Must investigate. <laughs> Amor, amor. The word amor comes to English from the old French amor, where the word amorous also comes from. That in turn came from the Latin amorosum, which in turn brings us all the way back to the original Latin word amor, which means, you guessed it, love. Amor meant love, affection, friendship, up until the 17th century, when through the use of something that we just learned in a recent lesson, euphemism, people used amor euphemistically to mean a love affair, and the friendship part of amor's meaning went away, and we are now left with a more meaning a love affair, or being romantically in love. Another fun fact about Amour is that in French, the proper name Amy came from Amour as well, meaning beloved. And in English, we ended up with Amy, like Amy Winehouse. Of course I can sing better than Amy Winehouse. <laughs> Good thing you don't have to understand Amour to fall in love. Okay, how do I make this look sexy? <laughs> Amor, amor, amor. Oh, there has to be a better way to meet this and man. Oh. For your homework, what's the stupidest thing you've ever done to impress someone you liked?